Michael Horn is my guest, www.theyfly.com. You see, Mike, I've got my own idea and my own opinion of the great conspiracy theory that the UFO community is putting up. As long as the UFO community keeps up the facade that there's a government conspiracy, they do not have to prove anything. Therefore, therefore, it's not the government. It is not the Vatican. It's no other entity except the UFO community that is keeping the conspiracy theory alive. Yes. And you've hit the nail on the head. That's why people would be out of business. And that's why, in all openness and honesty, I approached Stephen Bassett. Mm -hmm. I've sent a letter out. I've sent I, I ran into him again the other day, and he said, well, I can't get back to you till next week. I said, okay, Stephen, that's fine. Get back to me next week. I'm offering you this. You don't have to be a spokesperson for the Billy yeah. Meyer case, but what you can do is you can now declare this th- thing done, and let's then go and find out what it is in this information that you can present to your governments instead of getting this nonsense about setting up ambassadors to meet with extraterrestrials. They ain't coming. What's coming is environmental disaster, mayhem in the Middle East and other places, and maybe if we can start to get some people in government to pay attention, like the Russians apparently have about Meyer's warning about the Apophis asteroid, we might forestall, soften some of these blows. This will require a great bigness on the part of Stephen and other people involved in this, and it will really show and determine whether or not they're up to the challenge to do something for the greater good. Quick question for you, because we're running out of time very fast here. What will happen the day that Billy Meyer passes on? Who is going to carry that torch? There will be probably no. There will be nobody who will meet at the, with the play Aaron. It will be a matter of the responsibility of the group that is working to disseminate his information and other people that come forward. That will find its own problems in time. They already know that. That's prophecies about that as well. But that is how the torch will be carried on. Individuals finding the information and searching it out for themselves and thinking it through and making up their own mind. That's self responsibility. That's the core of the case. Mike, as always, whenever you're with us, time goes by so fast. I'd love to speak to you again in the very near future. Whenever you have time, Mike, let us know. We'll get you back on because I want to talk to you about what Meyer has said about Egypt, what Meyer has said about the Middle East, what he's sure. saying about the, the, the hype around December 21st, 2012. We'll do it again anytime you want. And I'll have, next, at least after next week, I should have word from Stephen Bassett, and I'll email you with whatever I have, and you then we'll figure out a time to go again. Sounds like a plan. Michael, thank you very much for joining us. Let our listeners know how they can find out more about you and Billy Meyer. Theyfly.com and theyflyblog.com. Come and visit. All right. Take care, buddy. Thank you. Exo Nation, our good friend, Michael Horn, www.theyfly.com. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to worry about you, Michael, unless you start calling yourself Commander Horn. And then, my friend, I'll start worrying. 1-800-610-7035, worldwide, toll-free. My email address is exxon at exxonradiotv.com, on MSN Messenger, TV at hotmail.com, and our website, www.exxonradiotv.com. Nice part about talking to Michael Horn tonight, I didn't have to try four or five telephone booths in Czechoslovakia to track him down. I'll be back on the other side of this break at six and a half minutes past the hour. Don't go away. Mm-hmm. 